Hey guys, it's me again, and holy shit guys, the previous video, how to edit like Ricecom part 1, is going towards 7,000 views, so I also read the comments, everyone was like, yo, make a part 2, and I thought to myself like, you know, if the support is that strong, there's no other way around it to make a part 2, so I hope you guys enjoyed, because last video I'm going to show you guys exactly right here how to slide it in and stuff, you know, like Ricecom does as well, like how the video got received so well so I would say make sure to smash the like button down below and I would say let's get started yeah. alright guys so as you can see right now we are in uh, Sony Vegas and I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I made the intro like you know with the thumbnail uh, flying by uh, like how to uh, make the video slide in how to make this, the, the transitions you guys will all see that in this video so I would say make sure to smash the like button down below and I would say let's get started Started. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to drag in the unedited file of the intro that you guys saw. Let me turn out the camera a little bit, like so. Okay, so right now I'm going to drag that in. Okay guys, so as you can see, this is the un raw un unedited file. Hey guys, it's me again. You know, doing some intros that uh, actually failed. So I'm going to cut it right here. This one is the right one. Uh, <clears throat> Clear my throat here. <clears throat> so. Hey guys, it's me again. So that's it, so we're gonna press S to cut that away. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it all the way to the very beginning of the track. And we're gonna start off with the uh, video sliding in from the left to the right. So I'm gonna go to transitions, go to slide right here, and we're gonna pick this one. So we're gonna drag that to the beginning of the track. And as you can see, the video is sliding in. Hey guys, it's me again. That is a little bit slow, but I want to have it like whoosh. So what we're going to do is we're going to drag this very shorter until it's like fast enough. Hey guys, it's me again. Hey guys, it's me again. Hey guys, it's me again. Okay, so that looks pretty cool. What we're going to do now is we're going to drag in a nice whoosh sound effect. So you can find that one on YouTube. I just downloaded it. So let me try that one in real quick. Okay, I have, I have, I have all kinds of whooshes as you can hear. Me again. Guys. Nice. And like rice this one looks, this sounds pretty cool. Let's uh, time it a little bit. Hey guys, it's me again. Hey guys, it's me again. Well, it looks pretty cool already. So what we're gonna, we're, but we're gonna lower the volume just a little bit. Hey guys, it's me again. Hey guys, it's me again. That looks pretty cool. So we're gonna cut it right there. And as you can see, I also zoomed in a little bit. So we're gonna uh, say with like, hey guys, it's me again. Hey guys, it's me again. I'm gonna make, make that part zoom in a little. So we're gonna go to the event pan crop. We're gonna place a keyframe at the very end and we're gonna zoom in just a little. Now, this is what it looks already. Hey guys, it's me again. And holy shit, guys. The previous video, how to edit like Ricecom part one. Okay, so when I'm gonna say part one, I want the thumbnail to pop up. So I'm gonna just drag in the thumbnail of the previous video. Okay, as you can see, this is the thumbnail of the previous video, but we're gonna, but I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller click on event pan crop icon then what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag this way smaller and then we're gonna move it to this side of the screen make it a little bit smaller as well boom and now you guys are all wondering like Alex how did you make like the transition going like this well it's really simple guys you want to go to transitions and the thing you want to pick is let me see where it is now you want to pick spiral as you can see this one and what we're going to do then is we're going to pick the default one i'm going to drag that onto the beginning of the thumbnail and this is how it looks good guys the previous video how to edit like ricecom part one but i'm going to time it that the thumbnail says part one like this so i'm going to put it a little bit to the right how to edit like ricecom part one is okay let me, let me time it a little how to edit like ricecom part one a little bit to the how right how to edit like ricecom part one how to edit like Ricecom part one. How to edit like Ricecom part one is go one one is going to video. How to edit like Ricecom part one is going towards seven thousand views. So I okay, that looks really cool. But now we're gonna make it also disappear. So what we're gonna do is we are going to uh, pick the opposite one. Spiral out left clockwise. We're gonna pick that one, drag it onto the end of the thumbnail like this and this is how it looks this video how to edit like ricecom part one is going towards seven thousand views so i also read the cut there we go so this is how you do make uh, the thumbnail uh, like move in and move out and the intro whoosh. so let's move on to the next kind of chapter in this video okay guys so i'm back the camera uh the battery dies so i gotta switch it real quick but we're back so we're gonna move on to the next one which is going to be the making the video slide in from the left 
and I thought to myself like you know if the support is that strong there's no other way around it to make a part two so I hope you guys enjoyed because last video I'm going to show you guys exactly right here how to slide it in and stuff okay so what I'm going to do now is right there I'm going to drag in my previous video so I'm going to drag in the entire video the, the rendered file so let me drag that in there real quick okay so this is the entire video but I'm going to cut away the audio because I don't need that so what we're going to do then is I'm going to uh, do it like this I'm going to create a new video track and right here create feed, insert video track and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it a lot of smaller so first of all I'm going to animate it first so I'm going to place it in the very corner right here then what I'm going to do is I'm going to check this icon so it moves only to one direction it's really simple then I'm going to place it outside of the screen right here then I'm going to place a keyframe around right here I'm going to I'm going to drag it in again fully like so Let's see, let's put the keyframe a little bit closer, make sure that it is completely in the screen. Let's make it also a little bit shorter, I don't need the entire video. I read the comments, everyone was like, yo. I guess you can see that's, uh, that's uh, zooming in really slow. I'm going to put the keyframe, this one, uh, to the beginning, right there. Let's see how it looks. I also read the comments. Let's, let's time it. So I hope you guys enjoyed because last video I'm going to show you guys exactly right here how to slide it in and stuff. You know, like Ricecom does as well. Like how the video got received so well. So I would say, make sure to smash the like button down below, and I would say, let's get started. All right, guys. So that looks pretty. That looks pretty legit. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make it also slide outside of the screen. So I'm going to go back to uh, the keyframe. I'm going to place it right here. I'm going to make a new keyframe, this one. Then I'm going to stand on the very end and I'm going to drag it outside of the screen again. So this is how it looks. I'm going to show you guys exactly right here how to slide it in and stuff. You know, like Ricecom does as well. Like how the video got received so well. So I would say make sure to smash the like button down below. And I would say let's get started. So that's basically how to do it, guys. This is how you make the uh, like the thumbnail fly in right here. Ricecom part one. Uh, make it fly out. I also read the and also make the video slide in. Yeah, I'll just slide it in and stuff. Because I don't know if you guys have seen Ricecom's videos where he's reacting to kind of videos. Uh, so he puts his uh, face cam right here, and then he has the video or the video like the, the video he's reacting to right here or right here. Then with his laptop, he's playing it along. So this is basically how to do it, guys. And I'm not, I'm not sure if, I, if I'm going to make a part three, but if you guys really want to see a part three, let me know what you guys want to see in the next part. If there's going to be any parts, let me know like what he does so I can research it and make and show you guys exactly how to do that. So I would say that is it for this video, guys. I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for the support. And like I said, if you have any suggestions like how he edits like the glitch effect I've seen once in the comments, I think, make sure to let me know in the comments down below. So thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Just Alex Halford.